Do you know about the forbidden form of bending in the Avatar world? Everyone knows air bending, water bending, earth bending, and fire bending. But there's a form of bending that's so sinister, so cruel, and so downright wrong that it's been banned in the Avatar world. I'm talking about blood bending. When Team Avatar is camping out for the night, they run into an old woman who warns them that people have been disappearing during the full moon. That old woman is later revealed to be a waterbender, and she tells these horrifying stories about how the Fire Nation would raid her village to the point where she was the only one to escape alive. She then goes on to teach Katara about how she can find and bend water from everywhere, even from living things. And her one last technique is only one she can do during the full moon. But before she does it, she explains to Katara about how she was able to escape the Fire Nation. She used water bending to bend the blood of a guard to set herself free. And since then, she's been using her blood bending to control and capture members of the Fire Nation every single full moon. After Katara refuses to join her in her twisted mission, she then tries to control Katara. But the rest of the team comes to help out, only to be the ones that get controlled through bloodbending. And they help the old woman instead. The old woman turns the team on each other, with Sokka about to unwillingly stab Aang. Katara's left with no choice but to use bloodbending to stop the old woman. And just like that, she saved her friends. But unleashing such an immoral power may have done more harm than good.